Welcome to Aaron's Harp. My name is Darby and I'll be your bartender today and our special is the French tart. All right, so the French tart is not fully my own original. This is one that um, I found a recipe that was somebody else's. It was actually posted on Pinterest, uh, found it on there. It was really interesting. My mom actually sent it to me. So mom, this one's for you. And it's a really cool cocktail that uses some weird ingredients, but it's super fun. The original version of the recipe I tried and it was really, really sweet. So I dialed that back a little bit and brought some of the more grapefruit flavors forward. So let's just be honest, this is a grapefruit and elderflower cocktail. So it's potent to say the least and definitely not to everybody's taste, but it's fun and it looks really cool in a pretty glass. So. Let's jump right in to our ingredients. So, I'm using gin, okay? I'm gonna specifically be using this Hendrix gin. So Hendrix is kind of an oddball out. It's halfway between like a uh, very herbal London dry and an American style gin. I think it's fun and for this, it has a lot of earthy flower notes, those herbal notes that I really, really like. Uh, the original, and you could totally do this, uses ooh, vodka. Um, now, when I made this initially, I did actually use vodka in it, and it was very good. I don't recommend using something like Ciroc. Use something like um, this Reykjavik Icelandic vodka. Um, it's a little bit more, ooh, it's a little bit more neutral flavored. Um, don't use something that's strongly flavored and don't use something super dirt cheap like Stoli that tastes like diesel fuel if you're gonna go the vodka route, okay? Um, I personally like doing this cocktail with gin simply because you get more, you get more flavors. So let's, let's move on. Gin, I recommend a London Dry or something fun like Hendrix. Saint Germain Elderflower Liqueur. This is kind of the star of the show. This is an unusual one. Uh, you buy this bottle just because the bottle looks cool and then you find things to do with it, which is what I've done here. I really like it. It's very unique. It's a herbal liqueur that is not common in a lot of cocktails and that's unfortunate. But I have a few coming up that will be using this. You're also going to need lemon juice, my super high quality lemon juice. A lot of people will say, and I've heard this over and over again. I've even been asked this, why don't I use fresh lemon juice? Well, there's two reasons. One, when you're making it volume, you don't have time to squeeze that much. That's a lot of lemon juice, all right? You don't have time to squeeze that much, that many lemons to make that much juice. So pre-made juice is fine, okay? If you're going to a bar or a cocktail lounge, nine out of 10 times, they're not squeezing Actually, I would say 10 out of 10 times. They're not squeezing fresh lemons for every single cocktail they make. So, now, for this, I wanna put this out there. You could do a 50-50 lemon and lime juice split, but I'm using regular, just straight lemon juice, okay? Then, this is pink grapefruit juice. Um, this is the off the shelf, I believe, this is like the Publix House, okay, brand. Like, it's not special. Just get a pink grapefruit juice, um, preferably unsweetened. That was where I messed up the first time. When I first made this, I got sweetened and it was awful. It really, hi babies, what are you guys doing? Go lay down, you're fine. 
It was really, really sweet. So that's just regular unsweetened pink grapefruit juice. And then the last thing, and I'll be doing a video on this later. So in my little fancy container here that my wife got me, from Ikea actually, is unclarified. You could definitely, if I were to make this in bulk for like a restaurant or a bar setting, I would clarify this. But this is not clarified. Simple syrup. This is regular brown, you know, or regular sugar simple syrup. It's not our Demerara. It has had rosemary stewed in it though, basically like making rosemary tea. You don't need it for this cocktail, but I recommend it, okay? So let's jump right in to making this thing. We're gonna just kind of work backwards here from how you normally would. Normally, add your cheap ingredients first and go from there. But two ounces of gin. You could cut this back a little bit if you wanted, or if you were unsure, I want a full two ounces because I love this cocktail, okay? It's not one I make all the time. It's very, very, or it can be very sweet and very overpowering, but it's delicious. One ounce of our elderflower liqueur. Quarter to a half ounce of our lemon. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go with a quarter ounce just because. Let's pour this in first real quick. All right, so this one, well, I might make a mess out of this because this is not the best thing to pour out of, but same thing, quarter to a half, depending on how sweet or how tart you like this. I'm gonna go a fat quarter of an ounce of our rosemary simple syrup. And that, I mean, so the longer, here's the thing about something like this, the longer you leave your rosemary in there, and I'll make a video on how I made this, it's super easy, basically just make sugary tea with rosemary in it, okay? But the longer you leave your rosemary, the darker that color is gonna get. That's why mine's so dark because it is like pure rosemary. Now, our grapefruit juice. One ounce is gonna be very shallow tasting. Two ounce is gonna be kind of where I like it to be at. Go one, go two. All right, that's it, okay? Two ounce, two ounce, one ounce, quarter ounce, quarter to half. Super simple, okay? All that's in there, let's grab, there goes my ice cube that I was planning on using, but oh well. An ice cube, let's see if I can crack this one good today. Nope. Some days these crack better than others, but Today it's going okay. All right. So we're gonna serve this up. So all of your dilution, all of your chilling is gonna happen while you mix it. So give this a good long mix, okay? Don't be afraid to get it a little watered down. This has a lot of alcohol in it, all right? Two full ounces of gin and a full ounce of that elderflower liqueur. Which liqueurs do have alcohol in them, okay? That's that's kind of their whole thing. Now, I put this beautiful coop into the freezer because once again, there's no ice with this, all right? We're served up. So then we'll strain that out into there. Look, it fills that coop perfectly. Now, for garnish, I have a grapefruit. We could slice into this grapefruit or we could pull a big rind off the side of it, a big peel off the side of it. But I think what we're gonna do, I did, I want everybody to know, I went and bought a peeler to use in here specifically for this because I say you should use a peeler. I think this is what we're gonna do. Cut that a little too deep, but that's all right. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the French tart. It's very pink. I mean, obviously, pink grapefruit juice is, there's quite a lot of it in there. It is very vibrantly pink. Um, again, I don't recommend using the sweetened one because that is really, really sweet. But let's go ahead and give this a try. 
We'll see, maybe we need to make some adjustments on the fly. Immediately, you get the rosemary, it comes right through. That elderflower liqueur, if you know what it smells like, you know it's in there. Oh, that's delicious. I mean, it's grapefruit. The, the use of Hendrix, I think here does work really well. I debated between Hendrix and Tanqueray. Tanqueray is another one that's got kind of some fun citrus notes, but it doesn't quite have as many like floral notes in it. And I really think that additional floral notes plays so well with this St. Germain elderflower that that is delicious. It's not too tart. It's not too sweet. I mean, if anything, I would almost increase the sweetness on that just a hair. I might go to a full half an ounce of our simple syrup. But it's, I mean, just out of the gate, it needs nothing. It really needs nothing. It's well balanced. It's fun. It's easy to drink. I mean, sit on a back porch or your front porch and watch the cars go by. I mean, that would be great for like watching the summer rain on a Saturday. All right. That's a fantastic cocktail. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Go ahead, give this a try. Let me know what you think, okay? Leave me, leave me a comment. Please take just a second, drop a like, subscribe, share, you know, all those YouTube things. Leave me a comment if you make this or if you're interested in seeing something else, let me know what you guys wanna see. If you're interested in supporting me outside of YouTube, in the description thing down below, I will have linked um, an Amazon wish list for here in the bar, as well as my Patreon, that if you wanna go over there and just waste money, you can do that, I guess. I don't know, that's not my thing. But if it's your thing, you got a ton of money to burn and you're watching an idiot in his house make cocktails, then cool, you know, whatever. But most importantly, don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Tip your bartenders. Thank you guys so much. That's all I've got for today. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, cheers. Mm. Delicious.